Another cloudy day ahead with outbreaks of rain. The outlook brighter with sunshine and showers. We'll have all the details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Thursday. Opens with me now. Good morning, Laura. 2022, as we know, was the hottest on record and it's only set to get hotter, though, isn't it? On it. All of these reports coming out are timely but also worrying. And actually, one came out a few days ago to say the temperatures being realised through Greece and the Mediterranean right now would be virtually impossible without human-caused climate change. What is that? Basically, the Industrial Revolution happened, we caused the Earth to warm, and we look at what would happen if we had a natural world without any of those impacts. So the Met Office today released their State of the Climate 2022 report. As you say, we know last year was the hottest year that the UK has ever recorded. And they look at how likely it would be for us to actually have achieved that in a natural world. And it would have happened once every 528 years. But now in the world where we have warmed our atmosphere because of fossil fuel use, it would happen on every nearly every three and a half years. And actually, the worrying thing is future projections. They look at what would happen by 2060. So by the time... Good morning to you. Temperatures through the Mediterranean still remain very high, particularly through the Eastern Med. Weather-wise, across the UK, it's a completely different story. The jet stream divides, the heat down there, and the cooler conditions that we have. So how has summer been so far? Well, across the UK, actually, it's above average. Summer is June... July and August, and we're just over halfway through. It's been sunnier than average, wetter than average, that's not a surprise, but it is thanks to the warm June that we're above average. And actually, June was above average. Temp July was above average temperature-wise. June has been below average, and it's actually the first time for since two 1970 that July has been cooler than June, and at the moment, June remains cool for the foreseeable week, at least. Now, July, sorry, we're busy. <laughs> July, we are now in July. July remains very unsettled as we head through the next few days. Low pressure is close by. The wind's coming from the Mediterranean, from the Atlantic, and that keeps us unsettled. It keeps us with showers and rain most days, and we're so far away from the heat that's down in the Mediterranean, those temperatures remain on the low side. So for today, it's more cloud, it's more rain. It will brighten up a little bit later from the west, but it's still actually fairly warm and humid through the coming night. So overcast grey skies greet us this morning. Outbreaks of rain through eastern areas. It's dull, it's damp, it's drizzly. Very little in the way of brightness today. But slowly but surely, skies are brightened through western areas, so Northern Ireland, sunny spells and a scattering of showers this afternoon, and highs around about 23 degrees Celsius. So how did then things pan out as we head through the next seven days through July? Well, at the moment, across the north of the UK, Scotland, Northern Ireland, northern areas of England, nothing really changes. They remained at or below average as we head through the rest of the week and as we head into August as well. Percentage chance of rainfall across the north of the UK? Well, at the moment, it's a band of rain that moves through today. It doesn't look too bad for tomorrow. It's sunshine and showers as we head through the weekend and it remains largely unsettled as we head through to next week. Fortunes further south for England and Wales as we head through the next seven days. Well, again, temperature-wise, we're sitting around about average, both by day and by night night. Today, percentage chance of rainfall is actually relatively high because we have cloud and rain. As we head through to the weekend, it's a story of sunshine and showers and the unsettled theme continues as we head through to next week. And for those hoping for something more settled and that bit warmer, at the moment it looks as though we have to wait until the middle of August for drier, warmer weather to return across the UK.